Alright, so today I'm going to be talking about iBird Pro and all of the cool features it has. Some, most of them are uh, when you try to search for a bird. For example, you can search for what state you saw it in, what colors it had, the habitat it was in, or even the flight pattern. After you select something, let's say I selected Alaska, you can view your results and then just hit the reset button to get rid of that. When you're browsing the birds, you can uh, view drawings of the birds, photos of them, their range, where they're most commonly found, and you can read about uh, how to identify them and how big they are. You can also look at the, the birds that look similar to them, and just and you can scroll through them to figure out which bird it was that you saw. You can also listen to the sound that the bird makes. This app is a, one of the only apps I've found that actually ha includes the birds of Hawaii as well. Instead of just the co instead of it just the continental United States, and you can even look at the birds that are endemic to Hawaii that you can only find there. For example, this bird, and you can you can view photos of almost every bird, and uh, every bird has a drawing of it, so you can identify it. You can also switch between looking at the, the families that they're in, for example, all the albatrosses are together, as you can see here, or you can look at them alphabetically by their first name, or by the species name alphabetically. There we go. For example, now all the albatrosses are just grouped in with others under the A's. Alright, and also you can see on, a slideshow of all, all the species. If that will work. There we go. Anyhow, that's it. Thanks.